The world is full of good news. The following are just a few. During a visit to Jakarta, Indonesia, High Prime Minister Ing Lak Shinawat meets with President Susilo Bangbang Yudhoyono in talks that promise expanding trade cooperation, as President Yudhoyono also encourages her efforts to resume peaceful relations with neighboring Cambodia. In response to a request by Governor Choltong Maye of the Lakes State in southern Sudan, the Sudanese People's Liberation Army is helping to collect all weapons from civilian populations across the state to help preserve the peaceful atmosphere of the new country. Historic Gorky Park in Moscow, Russia, gets a makeover thanks to its new director, Sergei Kapkov, with alcohol-containing beverages being replaced by their non-alcoholic counterparts, as visitors enjoy healthful and relaxing activities such as cycling, yoga, and strolling in the sun. Jordan's King Abdullah II asks that a military field hospital and medical staff be dispatched to Libya, along with equipment and supplies, to provide needed surgeries and complete aftercare. The U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, or CDC, reports that the number of Americans who smoke have declined by 3 million people from 2005 to 2010, with CDC Director Dr. Thomas Frieden saying that this decrease has directly saved an estimated 1 million lives. Miss Angola Leila Lopez becomes her country's first winner as she is crowned Miss Universe 2011, saying that she credits God for her inner and outer beauty, and that she intends to devote her title to benefiting others in Angola and across the globe. An article by Felicity Lawrence Lawrence in UK-based The Guardian shares the many benefits of a meat-free diet, including better health, halting climate change, caring for animals, and resource conservation, as she also reports that sales of meat substitutes are up 9% in the past three months. Egyptian director Amal Ramis's film Forbidden wins the Golden Eagle Award at the 11th Arab Film Festival in Rotterdam, the Netherlands, with Silver Eagle going to the Kurdish language Syrian film Freedom and a special mention for It Happened One Dawn from Tunisia.